The history of our country is falsified. All important events in our history and names of the main heroes of these events have been changed or abolished. The name of our country is pronounced with mistakes and it needs clarification with Georgia you represent. Our boundaries are measured by others and we continue to live in barbed wire defenses. In our Soviet schools, nobody taught us that we were part of Europe in the first place. Our story could be well told by the Rabati Castle that puts a mosque, a synagogue and a church together in one space. We knew that Metidom of Shushanik was written in the 5th century, but we had no idea that it was a feminist novel. The Night in the Panther Skin, a poem wonderfully blending Christian moral and Islamic aesthetic was also written in Georgia. Beside an image of a woman in Soviet propaganda, the real images of women have been erased in our history, as the Soviet Union was scared of real, strong and wise women. After all, they had the reason to fear. Spreading of Christianity is also associated with the name of a woman. The most exciting governing epoch relates the name of a woman governor named as the king. Georgia is among those first 20 countries where women could vote. It happened in 1980. We also had a newspaper, Voice of a Georgian Woman, in that period. Editor-in-chief of that newspaper was journalist and feminist Kato Mikeladze. When the Russian army entered the center of the capital on April 9, 1989, soldiers began attaching protesters and used prohibited poison gas, killing women with spades. These victim women and girls have returned independence to my country that had been lost for 70 years. At the same time, when the independent country faced real economic crisis, women tried, women tried all legal and illegal ways to reach richer countries. They did not refuse to work physically hard to send money to their families. In our country, like in other countries, most children lack lots of good. My colleagues and I cannot establish a special nationwide programs to effectively fight poverty, but we can write. We can write fairy tales that would be told by a mother or someone who loves like a mother. Most of fairy tale authors come from one generation. My generation was lucky enough. We understood that whenever you go, you should take your true story with you. You should tell your own stories. If a story is told with interest and sincerely, it would find its listener. My generation has revenge to that time, which was breaking us when we were teens and was separating us from the rest of the world. We have transformed those pains into literature and film stories. Today, the 90s is the rich medium for us from where we can pick Different and unbelievable stories, long or short, were ridiculous and rather painful. We talked a lot about these themes and became in focus. For example, Nino Harateshwili has built her creative work on these stories. She is a prominent writer in Europe today. These trumps are reflected in Vetmon by Georgian Demna Gvasali, creative director of Balenciaga House. To the end, we are gathered here on the most serious platform in the world in the contest context of fairy tales. If it is so, please assume my words as throwing a comb behind to grow a forest or mountains with thousands of teeth between a runner and a monster chaser like they do it in fairy tales. After all, a comb changes a lot in tales. Thank you very much. <laughs>